So yeah, oh, hey, man. What, 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 what were you guys' opinions on the uh, the, the Davis fight, the Davis and uh, Pedraza? Hey, you know what, man? Um, I, I think Javante Davis. I think his speed. I think his angles. I think people are underestimating his boxing ability. Some people are saying he's just kind of a, an aggressive, you know, power puncher type Floyd Mayweather, but he can box as well. You know, he has exactly. an extent. He has an extensive amateur pedigree. You know, Pedraza. He actually reminds me of a little bit of a James DeGale because he, he has long arms. Yeah. He has long arms. He fights with those long arms. He fights in the southpaw position like uh, James DeGale does for the most part. You know, and, and I was even thinking about a little bit of Kelly Pavlik when I was watching him just because he had, cause he's real long. He's really long. He, right. doesn't, he doesn't have a lot of speed. You know, he's the type of person, you know, that, that will work on you you know, kind of like a workman, you know, like, you know, he's not like an extremely athletic type of natural athletic type of fighter with speed is what I'm basically trying to say. So I'm going with Javante in that fight, man. I think Javante, you know, he may possibly knock him out. I, I think um, he's going to be comfortable, but I'm so happy. I, I don't agree with the caller that, you know, they trying to microwave Javante. I think he's ready for this step I up. Do yeah, I, I think he's ready for this step up. I mean, he's been of course, blowing, you know, lesser you know, opposition out of the water. It's time for him to step up. You know, it's time for and, and And Jose Pedraza is not, you know, Andre Ward. He ain't, you know, he ain't a, a Lomachenko or someone like that. So he's just, this is just, this is just as big of a test for Jose as it is for um, Javante Davis. So I'm going with um, Javante. What about you guys? I'll say this. I don't, I've never seen Pedraza fight. I don't know, but I'm going to say the same thing I said about how Jerry suspense. If he don't have nothing to keep tank off his ass with, he's probably going to stop him. Mm, yeah. So that's, that's how I see that fight going. I, I don't, I've never seen a fight, though. I follow too many little bit about him since he's a boxer. Kind of box got some skills. But I like tank. I think he can fight. I think he can box. I think he has speed. I think he's probably going to stop this dude. Yeah. That's I, my prediction. You know, I've never seen a dude fight. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, one I, I just oh. you know, Javante is an exciting fighter to watch. Yes, I he just is. you know, I can't wait to watch him. Every time I watch him, he's he's really really impressive. Like I said, you know, a Floyd Mayweather type of style, but with tremendous power. You know, I mean, and, and yeah, when and when I he let him, him fight in person, he he got this dude with an uppercut. I couldn't. Yeah, him. yeah, <laughs> I, I I remember that. I, I remember on the dude, dude was on his knees, like he, he lead uppercuts. Something. I, and if, and if it's yeah. and if it's the same fight, Miss Boxing Baby, I'm thinking about. I remember this guy. He was pretty tough. It was a, a Mexican fighter. Yep. He was pretty yep. tough. You know, he lasted. Yep. You know, um, about six, seven, eight rounds or whatever. About but six rounds. Yep. he kept mm -hmm. coming in. He he was going under a lot of Javante's punches. And I had mm -hmm. even said it. I said, man, he opened for an uppercut because. Yep. Javante was trying to throw a lot of shots up top, but, you know, the dude was slipping him because he kept coming in with his head down. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, Javante timed Yeah, he timed him coming in. Javante took a quick step back and timed him with that uppercut. And it was, it was, night, it, it was nighty night, you know, sleep tight. It was. So, yeah, He's man. So, special. I, I like him so far. I like that card, yeah. man. I, I like that card. That's that's a real good card. I mean, once again, like I said, Badu Jack is the Cinderella man right now. You know, everybody he's faced, he was the underdog. So, and and this is going to be the toughest fight for him. Uh, you know, I mean, all I can say is, um, you know, you would have to slightly lean towards James DeGale. I mean, I hope Badu Jack pulls it off. You know, but you would kind of have to lean towards DeGale. Now, one thing I did notice is in DeGale's last fight, I, was it against Porky Medina? I, I think it was Porky Medina. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Porky, yeah. Porky, Porky Medina. Right? Yeah, Porky Medina had him on the ropes yeah. a lot. And and yeah. DeGale, he did look vulnerable. He looked like he was uncomfortable on the ropes. So yeah. if, if Badu Jack is able to apply a lot of pressure, if he's able to, you know, because he's not really, but, uh, you know, Badu Jack is not really that type of fighter. Even though he's aggressive, he's more of a thinker type of aggressive fighter. He ain't the type of person to overwhelm you with, you know, body shots, you know, head shots. 
he's more of a person trying to time you with power shots. But I think if he just jumped on James DeGale to where DeGale uh, couldn't breathe, you know, that would be uh, Badu Jack his best chance in that fight. So that's right. that's pretty much how I see that fight. So who are you guys picking when it comes to that fight, Badu versus uh, James DeGale? Um, I'm going to go with uh, – I lean towards DeGale just because I think he has more versatility style-wise. Mm-hmm. And um, – I'm I'm rooting for Jack though. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I love his story. You know what? He's he's improved. We've seen progression with him as a fighter yeah. over, over his you know over these fights against Darrell, against uh, George Groves. I mean, he's he's made improvements. He got robbed against Butte. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah. And as you mentioned earlier, I think he has to be in DeGale's chest and have him against the ropes for the most part if he wants to win. Even yeah. though that's not necessarily his style, but. I do favor DeGale. I think he's a little bit faster, has a little bit more punch and power. He can switch from southpaw to orthodox, can move around the ring really well, has good footwork. I think he'll do just enough to edge it out seven to five. Mm-hmm. And um, and Kelvin, Kelvin in the comment section, he said, did Jack look better against Boutte than um, DeGale did? Do you guys think that makes a difference at all? No. Nah, it's a different styles. Yeah, yeah, styles make fights. I think he looked real good against Andre. Uh, and what's his name? Anthony Durrell. That's actually when I really noticed yeah. that he could fight. Yeah, yeah. That um, that fight. I want him to win. Yeah. But yeah, we. Hey. Yo, he know what it is. He's awkward. Not that he's super talented. He's very awkward. Mm-hmm. And um. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna root for Jack. Yeah. Hoping that he pull it out. Absolutely, absolutely. PMP baby, no, I'm playing. Tell me, gay by <laughs> There we go. Oh yeah, you better don't check your mailbox for at least a good week. You know. <laughs> anyway. This is Bobby, and you're watching Dante's Boxing Nation.